is dropping varsity football this season because it just doesn't have enough upperclassmen. News 12's Danielle Campbell now with more on the decision many say is dashing dreams for dozens of student athletes. For the first time since the 70s, Hampton Bay's high school will not have a varsity football team. It's disappointing. It's really unfortunate what happened. Zachary Bahamandes and Christopher Arazzo could not wait to hit the field for their first varsity football game of the season here at Hampton Bay's high school. But what felt like the fourth quarter, the players were notified by school officials there would not be a varsity football team. Sean Gill, varsity coach for the Baymen, said the decision to cancel varsity football was made after it was clear there were not enough older students trying out for the team. Our hearts go out to the seniors that unfortunately are unable to play. However, John Foster, the Hampton Bays athletic director, says junior varsity is a go. We thought based on uh, developmental appropriateness and um, safety that it was uh, crucial for us to stay with just a JV team. Zachary, who is a senior, says it's another loss in a school career that was dramatically affected by COVID. The team atmosphere was great, playing underneath the lights, the homecoming games, the Friday night games. It's just, it stinks that we won't be able to experience it for a senior year, but I was glad to experience it while I did. Although there will not be a homecoming for the varsity football team, there will be a community homecoming at a soccer game on October 14th. Zachary is now playing on the varsity golf team. Christopher, who is a junior, is playing JV football and is holding on to the goal he can play varsity next year as a senior. Every year is a new year. Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island. Good attitude there. The JV football team won their first game, by the way, against Greenport and is playing Southampton on Monday.